hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. So, very excited, I'm in Melbourne today with the gorgeous Angela Sobrano from, and her YouTube channel is called Queen of Sheba. Now, I um, accidentally, or it was fate, um, found you through TED Talks. You did, um, Angela did an incredible talk about conquering fear and anxiety and I remember watching this late at night um, when I normally do like love to sort of lie in bed watching YouTube videos and everything that Angela said and opened her heart up about you know really resonated with me and about how she deals with um, anxiety and how you know we got, like push ourselves into this professional work mode and just keep working to sort of not vote not to not deal with the fear I guess is what I'm trying to say and um, talked about how she created a hobby for herself um, through her YouTube channel and to try and conquer her fear and anxiety and how it helped her so much and you know there's a lot that is very similar for me and that you know I started my YouTube channel um, you know after my husband and I sort of just before we separated and it was a way of I threw myself into the work to try and not deal with what I needed to you know things I needed to learn from and it me you know watching your video really made me stop and go okay am I masking stuff that I need to work on and deal with and um, and about how I myself personally if I'm scared of something or something doesn't feel right I have to stop and, and look at it and face up to it and conquer it yeah. and so your video on YouTube was very powerful and um, you know it, it definitely has been a huge inspiration for me in the way I tackle fear myself and how at, you know I at times deal with anxiety and it shows up in different situations and in, in different ways but um, you know, being taking ownership of it and allowing that anxiety to make me a smarter, wiser, stronger person, and to help me generally be a better person and a more, I guess, helpful and inspiring person. So, I'm thrilled to be able to have Angela. Um, she's agreed to talk about fear and anxiety and how she conquers it. Um, I'll obviously link um, Angela's YouTube channel in the description box below, as well as her TED talks because it's really powerful. But Angela, like I've asked Angela to share her top five tips as to how she deals with fear and anxiety. Yes, well thank you for your kind words. It's it's amazing to have you here because I'm such a fan of <laughs> Hannah and your YouTube channel as well. Um, yeah, fear and anxiety, you know, it's 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 such a tough one, but I feel like so many people are going through yes. it. You yes. know, like I've only started talking about it in the last year or so since I've done that TED Talk. The mm. TED Talk was actually the first time that I ever opened up and spoke wow. about it. So and you did it with such a beautiful open heart. Yeah, I mean, it was it was tougher. You know, it was kind of the day beforehand. I almost pulled out and didn't do it because I was really? yeah, I was just so scared and in that state of fear. And mm -hmm. it's like this is exactly why I'm here. Yep. I've travelled like from Melbourne all the way over to New York to actually do the TED talk. I was like, I've come this far. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to face yep. it. I'm going to just do it. Mm -hmm. So I think the TED talk was it was such a um, a project in itself just to get it done and just mm -hmm. do it and start talking about it because. I feel like lots of really successful and powerful people have anxiety mm -hmm. um, and we don't talk about it enough, you know? People sort of look at you and think, oh, it's, they're perfect, they mm -hmm. don't have any stresses or dramas or, yeah. you know, you know, issues. It's not the case at all. That's We're all human and part of being human is having some, you know, having certain, not imperfections, but yeah. characteristics that... Oh, you know, yeah, us. absolutely. And I think a lot for my younger viewers as well from my YouTube channel, it was like, I'm presenting myself as having this perfect life and we, we're all guilty of it from, you know, our beautiful images that we have on Instagram yeah. or on Facebook. And my life is pretty great. Mm -hmm. I, I'm definitely not saying yeah, it's, it's not. Pretty glamorous. It, is, it is pretty. I'm very blessed to have a very cool life. But there's sometimes when it just gets a bit rough, mm -hmm. you know, and a bit tough and that's, that's normal. Mm -hmm. um, but anxiety is something that I've had probably since I was about seven years old. Mm -hmm. And I uh, used to get, um, yeah, really, really anxious about things that I probably shouldn't get anxious about. Mm. And usually for me, I would throw myself into work and just work, work, and work because mm. that's where I feel very confident. Yes, um, and, and I do the same as well. Yeah. Mm. And I feel like a lot of career women probably are doing that, and certainly the conversations that I'm having with, with women mm. um, is is them coming up to me saying, thank you so much for saying that. Now I feel like we can actually have this conversation, mm -hmm. which yeah. which is great. So I guess the top tips that I have for anxiety or the things that have helped me mm -hmm. kind of just get back to basics is, is probably just that, get back to basics. And like the first tip, I guess, for me is exercise and food. Yeah. When I'm not eating properly and when I'm not having my green juices every mm -hmm. morning or I'm not exercising, 
I, I just I start to fall apart mm. and I start to kind of see the signs of that anxiety creeping up and those negative kind of you know thoughts in my head start popping up and I'm like okay I need to go for a walk oh, or, yeah, yeah. I need to just get outside my head mm. and mm. go for a run or go for a walk and just a simple walk like 20 mm. minutes around, yeah. the, around the block can just clear my head and I feel so much better yeah. when I get back mm. so probably the first tip is exercise and eating decent food which can sometimes be hard because I do work between Melbourne and America mm -hmm. so a lot of the time I'm on planes or my I don't have a, a routine because every day is different but the things that really help me with my anxiety is yeah just trying to at least keep something a routine so i'll wake up at 5 a.m every morning that's my yeah, thing that's right that's well. what you do as well yeah. um and yeah i'll try to start with a green green juice mm. and um, I do, as well. you do as well not every morning i have to be honest but, 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 oh, yeah but, uh, yeah most mornings, at least yeah. a couple times a week Absolutely. and i feel like okay this is good i'm putting some goodness in here exactly and you start the day off on a really good note yeah mm. absolutely so and then i will try to go and do like a class at the gym or if i'm traveling then i'll try to do some sort of exercise in my hotel room or if i'm over in san francisco i have a gym over there that mm. i go to as well so i just try to keep that a, a, just so i just try to keep that as a structure mm -hmm. i guess so sort of um of okay i'm gonna eat well i'm gonna exercise mm -hmm. and then i feel like that does really help me mm -hmm. um the other things that help me i guess are the people that i have around me so i think like back in the day when i was really struggling mm -hmm. with anxiety i didn't have very encouraging or supportive people around me okay. they were quite negative mm -hmm. and, and really it can just take one person to be a little bit toxic it's quite contagious yeah. and it can really pull down your energy sources absolutely mm -hmm. and sometimes it's tough because you have to work with those people mm -hmm. or um they're sometimes they're within your own family yes. you know and that's a really tough one um and because you, you can't escape them but i think just being aware that that is that's what they're like as a person mm. so you don't have to overshare with everything that's mm. going on in your life mm. um, and that's been a real um, saving grace for me is just holding some things back that are just for me yes because the moment that I share all oh, my dreams and goals and everything's mm. fabulous mm. and you have that one person that goes oh really mm. you're gonna do that well that's what I picked up from one of your videos as I was saying to the other day on the phone you know I, I tend to overshare and um, I've after sort of watching you say you don't need to share with everybody yeah. everything you know keeping something for yourself or or only sharing some of your dreams and aspirations with the people that are going to inspire and encourage you mm -hmm. and um, motivate you to, to stay on you know your course that you've said you want to take is so important and building that kind of almost um, invisible layer or shield mm -hmm. of when those people do kind of try and throw those to those toxic uh, or negative comments and remember it's just a reflection of themselves not on, yeah. on you but in the heat of the moment, it is very easy oh, to sort of, well, I'm such a sensitive person, I can take it on, but I've had to learn to really, you know, protect myself. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's hard because I think you're similar like me, you get excited mm -hmm. about the projects that you're working on. Yeah. Um, but now there's probably only five people in my life that are those kind of real trusted source, source. Yeah. that I feel yeah. like I can share everything with. And then everyone else is kind of, you know, sort of that top line stuff, yeah. but I like to keep everything else to myself. Um, and only let kind of the the trusted sources I guess in mm -hmm. um, the other thing is for me getting organized mm -hmm. um, so it's as simple as organizing my outfits for the week on a Sunday mm -hmm. just getting organized or cleaning your room or cleaning a drawer makes me just feel so good about myself yep. and organized and I feel like it gives me so much clarity yes because I feel like when you get rid of that clutter of not only people mm -hmm. so clearing the toxic people that you have in your life clearing that clutter but then also clearing the clutter of stuff mm -hmm. that you have so I've been trying to you know throw out a few things or give things away that I usually don't use much mm -hmm. at all um, and just clearing that clutter has just really helped take that weight off my shoulders Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I feel like that has been um, a, a great thing for mm -hmm. me as well. So other things that help me as well is having a fear project. Mm -hmm. So I get quite anxious about most things in my personal life. Okay. So not so much a professional life. I feel pretty confident about things that I do in my different businesses or um, you know, socialising on a business um, sort of front is fine for me, but when it goes into more personal mm -hmm. stuff, so I could organise an event for a thousand people and be completely calm about the whole thing, but having six people over to my house for dinner yeah. will completely yeah. freak me out yeah. for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why. 
So things that freak me out or worry me or cause me anxiety, then I like to acknowledge it, mm -hmm. write it down, and go, yeah. okay, why is Writing this? Writing down yeah. is very, yeah, just, just, and you see it written down, you're like, oh, wow, that mm. looks so, like, why am I so scared yeah, of that? That's so it's simple, yeah. really. Yeah. It shouldn't, it, why is this affecting yeah. me? Well, it's really? not a big deal, you know, like, yeah. it's like taking over my body, yeah. That's right, mm. so really acknowledging it when you're writing it down and thinking, okay, why is this causing me so much fear and worry and anxiety and then creating an actual project mm -hmm. to, to conquer that fear because I feel like when, once you actually acknowledge it, um, you write it down and then take action to get over mm -hmm. it, it takes the power away from it mm -hmm. and it Definitely. doesn't consume you yeah. and eat you up inside. Mm -hmm. So that's probably my biggest tip is going, okay, what is freaking me out? What's causing me this anxiety? Let's write it down, look at it, live with it a little bit, acknowledge it, mm -hmm. and then do something about it to actually conquer it, mm -hmm. and then you can move on. Okay, all right, great. Yep. So just to summarize, yep. exercise and fitness, yes. um, surrounding yourself with supporting and encouraging, inspiring people mm -hmm. and sort of being protective of that, um, getting up early, um, and the other one was being organized yes. and in control, and then the fifth one, conquer your fear, like yeah. face it head on, Absolutely. work out what is really going on yeah. and then doing, you know, facing it and taking control and action that yeah. then trumps yeah. that fear. I think so. They're the things that help me and I think probably lastly, I would say I've gone into this habit in the last year or so, it's been so helpful, is having a thankful journal. Mm -hmm. And I know it can sound yeah. a little bit unique. No, it's so it is, it changes your headspace yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah. like it gives you perspective as well. Mm. Because sometimes you'll think, oh, that was an average day. But then when you actually sit down and reflect and go, actually, these top three things happened today, mm -hmm. which are pretty awesome. Yeah. And to get that perspective as well, because you know, there's always going to be someone that's struggling or doing it worse than what you are. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like just having that perspective and being thankful for mm. what's happened in the day, um, yeah, it's been really helpful yeah. actually. Just mm. again, just acknowledging it and being, you know, aware of what's happening, not only internally with, with, with what's happening inside your head, but externally as well, being socially aware. I sometimes do that if I'm having trouble like switching my brain off at night time or I've had a particularly stressful day before I go to bed as I'm dozing off to sleep yeah. I'll sit there and like do it and I'm a bit OCD yeah. and obsessed with number 10 I will make myself come up with 10 things that I'm grateful yeah. of that are going on in my life and it's funny I won't even get to 10 I would have, I'll, because I'll start to relax and feel comfortable and safe and at peace um, I then drift off to sleep so yeah. but yeah very similar things so, well, love it. <laughs> well, that's it um, for Lifestyle Off today. Um, definitely go and check out Angela's channel. It's amazing and she's got an incredible handbag collection. <laughs> yeah, I do love handbags. <laughs> yeah, they are absolutely beautiful and amazing style and taste. So I will see you next week on um, Lifestyle Love or Money Monday. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>